excited to experience this for the first time. Hello. You excited, bub? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> getting very close to getting onto the ride and I am so excited. <laughs> Unfortunately, also from people, so they can be a little challenging to spot at first glance. So make sure you keep your eyes out. Let me know if you see anything. Move it around. There's a rhino. partially submerged in the water throughout a majority of their day because they actually have no sweat glands. They have no natural way to regulate their body temperatures. So doing this does help to keep them nice and cool. They are also known as some of the most dangerous animals in Africa. This is simply because they are very territorial. However, they do share the Safi River with the gray and white birds that are out on the island to our left. Those are known as the pink back pelicans. And those pelicans do get their names because the scale on their back turns pink during mating season. They're also known as colonial nesters, so they nest in pairs of 20 to 500. So we have to a thousand birds all together. Okay. And unlike their eating patterns, they don't need a whole lot of sleep. They can only sleep for about 30 minutes to an hour out of each day. They look perfectly fine. These are the Maasai giraffes. We can tell by their spots. They're a little jagged around the edges. It kind of looks like someone colored it outside of the lines. It's a very easy way to tell them apart from other types of giraffes, such as the reticulated giraffes that you'd be able to find at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Now these both do look like full-grown Maasai giraffes. You can usually tell if they're younger by their height and also by the tufts of fur that are I've 
learned about elephants is that they're actually very afraid of bumblebees. There's very large creatures that are afraid of very small bugs like bumblebees. And it was actually researchers that work with Disney that helped to discover this. The reason they started researching ways they could potentially scare elephants is because there's a very large problem in Kenya with the mining of coal tan, which is a mineral that's found in will be anywhere from four to five thousand pounds. And they are not actually white. Their name does come from a misinterpretation of the Afrikaans word white, right, which means wide. It's actually describing their very wide jaw lines, which is a way besides just their size, you can tell them apart from other types of rhinos also native to Africa, such as the black rhinos. It does look like this rhino right out here to our left hand side is in the mud wallow right now, very similarly to elephants. Rhinos do like to roll around in the mud and the dirt. It helps to keep them nice and cool and serves as a natural sunscreen and bug repellent. Okay, so we had fun at Magic Kingdom, not Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, and now we transferred over to Magic Kingdom. And holy moly, is it awesome with all the Halloween decorations. I am walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA. Okay, actually, I'm about done. I'm right at the castle now. We just got through eating at the plaza. Uh, pretty good. Um, I actually liked the steak. It was really good. It was. Uh, I actually order my steaks well, but I um. They, I don't like it well to where it's like burnt. I just like it well to where it's like, not like bleeding on my plate. <laughs> and they did exactly like that. And it was tasty. Like I didn't even need like no A1 or anything for it. It was real good. Um, we are getting ready to ride just a couple more rides. We're gonna hit um, Haunted Mansion and Pirates maybe. And then probably head back to the hotel and do some more swimming. actually pretty cool here now. It's cooled down quite a bit. It actually probably would be a really good evening to spend in Magic Kingdom. The crowds aren't too bad. Um, st still a lot of people here even though hurricanes supposed to be coming. But, you know, we'll see what happens.
truly stretching or is it your imagination? Mm. And consider this dismaying observation. No doors. <laughs> which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. Give us a hint by ringing the bell.